Mary River is about 2,400 kilometres long and I reckon I've found one of the best bits of it here in the Murray Valley. If you want to see wildlife, wetlands and amazing river red gums, jump in the car. It's well worth the trip. And the Murray Valley National Park has the trifecta. I'm starting bright and early with wildlife at the Reed Beds Bird Hide. There's heaps of info on the walk-in, but I'm lucky enough to have a guide, Ranger Amanda. There are lots of birds here. What types are there? Well, there's quite a variety of birds, such as the straw-necked ibis, um, Australian white ibis, and the royal spoonbill. Um, but we also have the Australasian bittern, which is actually endangered species here. Many of the birds are migratory, so park staff have created Facebook profiles and Twitter feeds for them. You can read their tweets while you hear their tweets. It looks quite dry at the moment. Is that normal? Yeah, so basically the wetland has to go through a drying phase as mm -hmm. well as a wetting phase. And so it's just, um, it just changes each season. Dry or wet, how amazing to get so close to the birds without disturbing them. But it's not just native animals that get looked after here. It's classified as a regional park, so you can take your pooch on the Gulper Creek walking trail and meet the stars of the show, the majestic river red gums. They are incredible. These trees are magnificent, aren't they? Yes. But between you and me, they're not very red. Yes. <laughs> well, if you were to actually cut one open, you would see that the timber itself is actually quite red, and that's where it gets stained. How lucky are we that we can come down and enjoy this with our four-legged friends and our family and friends? <laughs> the gums in this park, combined with the ones over the Murray in Victoria, make up the largest continuous stand of river red gums in the world. But walking's not the only way to see them. If you want to see more of Gulper Creek, throw the dog in the back and take the Gulper Island Drive Tour. It's self-guided, so grab your camping buddies and hit the road. You weave in and out of the River Red Gums alongside the creek, and there are plenty of pretty little pockets to stop at along the way. Another campsite by the river. <sighs> pretty. <laughs> Not as pretty as ours. That's because we're staying at the dog-friendly Edward River Bridge Campground further into the park. How's this for a deep water frontage? And here, the river red gums are as useful as they are beautiful, both for kids, can you see anything up there? And for grown-ups. How good is this setup? You've got your rod holder, you've got your drink holder, you can even tie up your boat. <laughs> and the trees also provide a red hot fire in the campsite. Another thing you can happily do in this national park. What a day. I've walked through the River Red Gums. I've driven by the River Red Gums. I think I'm going to sleep pretty well under the River Red Gums. Those River Red Gums are down on the Murray in the Murray Valley National Park. Set up camp at the Edward River Bridge Campground. It's free. For any info about the park, jump onto nationalparks.nsw.gov.au forward slash Sydney Weekender.